guys so today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions i have some new products some of them were sent to me other i got them myself and i just really wanted to try them out today with you i was planning to do something more neutral but here we are it happens to everyone what can we do i just woke up so excited to record this video i really hope you guys enjoy watching and without losing any time let's go ahead and get started alrighty guys so i'm gonna start off with this primer here it's the it's the number seven airbrush away radiance boosting primer i've never heard of this brand before but i got this in a subscription box they actually sent it to me but it's the bless box yeah it's called bless box and i really want to try this out today because it says that it's going to make my skin look flawless in seconds all right so i'm gonna use my fingers to apply it on my face it looks like that it has a very nice smooth texture it kind of feels like those silicone based primers it's very smooth and kind of hydrating i like how this feels on my skin and for foundation i'm gonna use one by Mot motifs motifs mm, yeah it's their liquid powder mineral foundation with sunscreen oh it's good that it has sunscreen and they sent me a couple of shades here this is the vanilla cream this is the shade linen oh this one is a little bit better and i'm gonna apply it with this um sponge here by shiny cosmetics i used their sponges in the video where me and my dad did my mom's makeup and they come in a very fun packaging with different colors and shapes and if you watch the video you probably saw how the package looks and they were so soft and so easy to work with so i'm gonna use this one here today it's like dull and it looks really cute this is not as soft as the one that i used on my mom i think this foundation is like really matte it says that it's a self-setting liquid powder foundation. That's that sounds interesting. And the coverage is like medium. Not really full, not really light, something in between. I hear it when I get foundation on my lips. I just look so dead. I'm gonna add some lip gloss on my lips. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach lip gloss in the shade Peach Side, and this is not the first time I'm using it, but I just love how it's hydrating my lips. It just brings them back to life. Okay, so you can definitely build up the coverage of that foundation, and because it has more of like a matte finish, if you have any texture and blemishes on your skin, it's going to make them look less visible. And I don't know if it's the primer or the foundation, but my skin looks like there is barely anything on it it looks like my skin but better which is nice so moving on to the concealer i'm gonna use this one here by the brand e x1 and the shade is 2.0 and i actually got a new set of brushes by colourpop it looks like that i'm gonna take this little brush here it's like a flat brush loading it with some concealer and i'm gonna apply that under my eyes and also on my eyelid i'm gonna use that as an eyeshadow primer Blending it out with my finger. Oh, this might be a little bit too yellow for me. It covers really well, but it's not the right color for me. I'm actually going to use some of these Motifs Cosmetics Cream Foundation set. And I'm going to mix these two colors here. And adding that under my eyes. I'll also use that on some of my blemishes for some extra coverage. Okay, so that kind of fixed the things. Okay, so I'm gonna let that concealer and foundation and all of the products that I just applied to kind of set into my skin. And I'm moving on to the eyes. For my brows today, I'm gonna be using this Makeup Revolution Brow Pencil. And the shade is called... I don't know how to pronounce that. I need, I need the help of Google. Sovereign. Sovereign. Sovereign, that's how it's called, all right. <laughs> but before that, I wanna go with some brow gel. This is by Pony Cosmetics, it's the Zebra Brow Gel. So I'm just gonna brush through my brows with this. And then filling in any gaps with this. Wait, this is not a brow pencil. This is definitely not a brow pencil. It's some kind of a shimmery bronze pencil this brown end here really confused me 
what a feel i really wanted to use pencil today but i found out that i have this freedom eyebrow pomade in medium brown oh i also have my deep brow by anastasia beverly hills in the shade medium brown so i'm gonna take it on this angled brush here from that color pop brush set and i'm gonna use it to fill in any gaps and areas that you know need to look like there is more hair look at how beautifully that concealer creased on my eyelids <laughs> don't worry it's something that happens with every concealer so one thing that you can do to prevent it from creasing is actually using some face powder or um, eyeshadow whatever to set it in place and i'm gonna be using today this one here by essence it's the all about matte and this is not the first time i'm using this one i used to love it before I don't know before a year or something so i just recently went and i get a new one this is it and i'm gonna use it to set that concealer on my eyelids all right nice so i'm not really sure what look i want to create today the only thing that i know for sure is that i want to try out this mac roller wheel liquid eyeliner so i have these eyeshadows here by the brand nabla 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 Nabla, it's this one here <laughs> okay they sent me a huge package of things and i have some of the shadows here i think that i want to go for something more neutral today because i have kind of like more dramatic brows so let's pair them with something more neutral on the eyes i'm gonna start off with this shade it's called narciso and using this fluffy brush here again from colourpop i'm gonna place it in my crease right here this eyeshadow smells so good and it's very easy to blend I'm gonna also bring it right here in the inner corner of my eye I'm really torn between these two colors here I'm not sure if I want to go with something gold on the eyes or something more nude <sighs> Let's go for the gold one. This shade is called Clio and it's like a shimmery gold color. I'm gonna use my fingers to apply it. And I kind of want to deepen up the outer corner a little bit more. So I'm gonna take this eyeshadow here. It's called... I hope it's something easy to pronounce. It's called On The Road, okay. And I'm adding it in the outer third of the eye. Taking that small blending brush again, I didn't add any product on it. I'm gonna diffuse the harsh lines with it. Adding some more of that eyeshadow just to make it very nice and dark. And blending it out again. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that gold eyeshadow so that they blend better. And taking a bigger fluffy brush, this is the one that I used to set that concealer on my eyelid with that face powder. I don't have any product on it and I'm gonna make sure that everything is nice and smooth, no harsh lines. I'm really excited for this part you guys I'm gonna be trying out the MAC roller wheel liquid liner I'm sure that you guys already heard about it there's so many people doing reviews on it but it looks like a pizza slicer they actually sent it to me in the shade brown I wish that I had the black one but brown is fine as well it's not stopping me from trying it on my eyes uh, this is actually scaring me but let's go ahead and see what I'm gonna do <laughs> okay I, I guess I'm gonna create the wink first This kind of looks like the first time that I try to do winged eyeliner on my eyes. I have to be very careful, I don't want to ruin my, my smoky eye. I guess you just need to practice, you know. I had to make my dad do my mom's eyeliner with this. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I want to switch to a regular brush. Can I dip my brush inside? Let's try it out. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> this is the Sigma E06. I'm gonna try to fix the mess with this. 
I've never appreciated this brush more than now. <laughs> I think that the idea of this is really cool, but it it's just a little bit difficult to work with it. I think that you will need a little bit more time to practice and get used to working with the pizza slicer, but for me, honestly, it's not life-changing and I'll keep using the product, but not the applicator. So what we're doing next? Mascara and poses. I'm gonna curl my lashes, coat them with mascara, and then it's time for the poses. Remember that I told you that I want to keep the eyes a little bit more neutral today. Forget about it. I'm doing it all today. I got these really fancy lashes here. I'm not sure what their price is because they were sent to me, but their packaging is very... You know. These are the diamond... Oh gosh, I'm gonna offend so many brands today because I can't pronounce their name. I'm not gonna even try here. This is the brand. And this is how the lashes look inside. I tried this one on my eye. That's why it's a little bit there. Really fluffy, really long. Let's go ahead and glue them on my eyes. Ooh, these lashes are so long. It's been a minute since I wore so intense poses, but I'm enjoying them. So I have a small amount of fallout here. I'm just gonna grab... Um, uh, this is a baby wipe, it's not even a makeup wipe. And I'm gonna remove it. Taking some of that foundation that I used before on my sponge, and I'm gonna add it under my eyes and on the areas that I had that fallout. So I'm bringing back some of the product there that I removed with the wipe. And I'm gonna set it with that essence powder. also bring that powder on my forehead on my t-zone but my forehead got really greasy for some reason so i want to kind of remove that shine i'm gonna go back and finish up the eyes i will apply that eyeshadow that i use as a crease color under my lower lash line and i'm using the sigma e41 for that this is definitely not the first time i'm using this brush but i find it really convenient for applying eyeshadow under the lower lashes you know in my inner rim i'll go with this nude pencil here again by the brand i'm gonna call them nabla okay <laughs> this is the zuiva basic moment blush palette and i want to try out today the the shade coat unfinished i'm not sure if this is going to be too warm for my skin let's go ahead and see how it looks Also disturbing my baby hairs to apply it on my forehead. I like the blush. It's not too dark, so I think that it's going to look good on my skin. It's a very soft, pinky color. For highlighter, I really wanted to try out this um, shimmer powder by Motifs. It's um, called Starshine. And as always, I'm bringing that in the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone. I almost used only those Colourpop brushes to create this look, except for the two Sigma brushes, the one for the eyeliner and the other one for the under my lower lashes. But I think that they're very soft. So many swatches on my hand today. On my lips, I'll go with this nude liquid lipstick by Makeup Forever. See, Makeup Forever has their shades in numbers. This is 103. Why other brands are making so complicated names for their products? It's hard to pronounce them. Okay, so I have this makeup setting spray here, again by Motifs, and it's called 10 Years Younger. Now, I really want to try it on my face and see what it's gonna do, but if this makes me look 10 years younger, I'll probably be something like that, and I'm not sure if I want to do that, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and try it out. Hydrate to keep makeup from setting into lines and pores. Now, I don't see any crazy difference, but it did make my makeup look less powdery, which is good. Maybe it's gonna be really good at keeping the makeup in place for longer. It, it claims that it's up to 16 hours, so yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed filming it because I love trying out new and different stuff. I was kind of disappointed with the eyeliner by MAC, but however, I really, really like the product. I'm not really disappointed about the entire product, but just the applicator. It was kind of weird. I really hope that they have this product with different applicator because if I had to apply it with this, it would not be really fun. The idea, however, is very unique, but... Um, 
it just didn't work out for me. However, I really enjoyed the eyeshadows. They just blended so easily and they was really pigmented. I think that this is a Italian brand. It says made in Italy, but I'm not sure. I might be wrong. They contacted me and they were like, hey, do you want to try out our products? And I was like, okay, send me some. And they sent me a huge box of products and I was like, oh my god, so many new things to try out. And their packagings are so cute, guys. Look at that. Um, What else? I think that this video is going to be super long, but what can i do <laughs> and the foundation i really want to mention it one more time it was a great foundation i'm gonna try it with another primer because i want to know if it's the primer or the foundation that is so good or maybe the combination of both is just really good i don't know but i would definitely try them out you know separately and we'll see i don't usually use matte foundations anymore but this one i think that it's making an exception anyway i'm gonna finish up this video now i really hope you guys had fun watching if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget that you can also follow me on my instagram and facebook and twitter and visit my blog all of the links will be down in the description box as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'm gonna see you in my next one bye